The next tool I'd like to talk about is points on a grid. Once we have all of our line work that we want to use to create a tin, we need points on the, on the ground. So we can use our point on the grid tool. It's located here, points on the grid. Again, this is ported over from Topo 2. You start out with the point cloud or the reference plane in the same spot here, and you can set the origin, align it to this curve up here, and then like that. So you can align it any way you'd like to. Also, you can just rotate it here, rotate counterclockwise or clockwise, and change your grid size. So if I wanted to go smaller, right, or if I wanted more points or less points, I can go ahead and just change the size there. So I'm going to pick five feet. Once you have that, you can determine the type of smart pick. I want points on the ground, because that's what I'm looking for right here. And then you can say your starting number, right? You can say 100 is your starting number, and feature code is G for ground. And then draw a fence around the points that you want to include. And say preview, right? OK. And I'll show you the preview locations. So if the point numbers are wrong or if you want more or less points, you can simply run it again. Otherwise, you can say place points, close, and here you can just turn off the point cloud and you can view all of your data. So you've got all your nice point and ground data already um, arranged and derived for you along with your break lines that we created earlier using our new alignment tool. And you can simply say select all, tools, mesh create, tin, and then it creates the tin. And let me go ahead and show you the wireframe version of this. I do want to point out that we do a nice job now in the curbs, right, of making sure all the triangles are regular and the grid surface is clean. This is very, very nice. Also, all the editing functions are improved and work quite well when you're trying to change the characteristics of the tin. So this is the new points on the grid from Leica Geosystems and Cyclone version 9.0.